The last few years have created some desperate situations for some people. And certainly over the course of the last three or four years, people have found themselves doing some things or having to sacrifice some things along the way uh, to survive, whatever their version of survival is. And uh, it turns out people that used to be celebrities or maybe still are, are finding themselves in that same situation uh, more more and more often. We've all seen people uh, struggle financially. We've had people that surround us here uh, in our particular group of humans uh, that have suffered as well. And even in the sphere that I'm in, the, the, the tight sphere that we have, uh, I've, I've seen that regularly. So some people have done some things that have turned them into different types of persons. Uh, some people have elected to maybe go down a path I may not agree with. And some people have moved to a different way of selling themselves. And uh, without casting huge amounts of judgment, we're going to walk through a story that I've been looking at for over a month now, I think, and uh, or about a month now. And it revolves around somebody that I think a lot of us are familiar with, soprano star Drea de Mateo. Now, of course, this story from the Daily Mail about the Soprano star uh, it hit, well, hit the public eye about February 27th, and it probably got started sooner than that, but they just got around to writing this article back then. And, it, you know, a lot of people do a lot of things to earn some extra money, including, well, they start, you know, their own brand so that they can sell themselves in a different way. And what you won't find here is anything risque, but what you will find is, well, my t-shirts, hats, my, gosh, you name it, water bottles, coffee mugs, uh, uh, toques. Um, you'll find all kinds of wonderful things at beachpunk.us, so do check that out. But it turns out that um, people can go and see uh, Drea de Mateo um, in her rawest form. Now, she is... Uh, over on that um, Only Friends site, or Lonely Friends site, as uh, Mr. H calls it. Um, but she does credit it with uh, keeping her in her home. And the fact that she started doing it, kept her in her home and avoided foreclosure within five minutes. That's extraordinary. And she talks about everything in, in what she goes through and what happens during the course of these photo shoots and everything in this article. And she mentions she mentions that she only had about ten dollars in the bank when she joined this is a pretty interesting article it was updated about 24 hours after it came out and yeah she's she's praised the platform that she's on was saving her life uh, because she had turned down the mandatory thing that would have kept her working in hollywood and that left her with 10 bucks in the bank so she was at the time 52 not sure if she still is but she was reluctant to join the adult subscription service last year, but she's revealed her racy uploads proved so lucrative that she managed to save her home from foreclosure within five minutes of joining and has launched her own business, which is actually a clothing brand. So I guess she's stepping into a different world, but um, she's actually been carb loading to get into shape. Um, so she gets to eat a lot uh, because she's too skinny, I guess, for for that lonely friend's place. And she really felt like she had to do it. She didn't want to. Um, you know, as we scroll down, whoops, try to scroll past that racy one. I'll have to blur it out. Uh, tearing up, she continued, anybody that wants to condemn me and put me down, go ahead. Uh, I just hope you never find yourself in a position I was uh, to take care of two little kids. Um, she uh, found herself in a perilous situation after taking a forbearance to help with her mortgage repayments, but ultimately she couldn't afford the astronomical sum that she owed debt collectors. Yikes. They put me into foreclosure and my house had been flooded. That's no good. So I was trying to sell the house quickly. I wanted to try to sell it before they took it. At the same time, I lost my mom and my other mom who has dementia uh, had run out of money for her caregiver. So I didn't know which way was up. And she said it did take long before she decided to do what she's doing. I'm going to have to blur that out as well. 
Um, I was like, holy cow. In five minutes, she was able to pay back Compass Real Estate, who kept the how uh, kept the sale of my house. Um, and it really wasn't something that she wanted to do. And in fact, when she first toyed with the idea, it was because she and her husband had thought about creating a quasi um, podcast. Well, that's interesting. Uh, she says, I got a lot of heat for it. And then it went freaking viral and people went nuts. And the original premise was a podcast on there that was controversial. We wanted to put it behind a paywall so to not be destroyed in the media for it, which makes a lot of sense because if you understand what her politics are, you would understand why she would be concerned about that. Um, scrolling down here, I have to blur out more stuff. She says, um, she feels good about it. She says, it's good to see those photos. Uh, but she started a, um, she started a, a, a clothing brand, as I mentioned. Here it is. Besides gaining an abundance of confidence and clearing her debt, Stray also was able to launch her very own streetwear brand called Ultra Free. Um, it was inspired by her 12 year old son and he's a hype beast lunatic and, <laughs> and it works for us. That's fun. Uh, the, uh, the concept behind the clothing is about making freedom cool again. Well, there you go. This is an interesting quote. Read this. God knows ideologies were pushed forward in the last three years that have not helped society. This, the merch is all about, don't let them tell you who you are. You already know who you are, no matter what. Don't let anybody keep you small. You don't need a movement. You just need to be free. Fascinating. So as you can see, as far as her financial situation, is concerned things have turned around for her and for that i'm sure she's ever grateful but i don't know i wonder what her ideas are about what some of these things uh will well they'll be around forever um you make a decision when you do something like that and again no judgment um i don't even judge the people who consume the material but i will tell you uh that um you know, there, there's a cost to be paid for everything that you do in this world. And I just hope she is prepared for that one, but congratulations, congratulations to her for getting out of the situation she was in. Um, I hope that, uh, her future is brighter and I hope she's successful with that clothing brand. Sounds like a noble thing indeed. Um, but there you go. The story, uh, the story of, uh, Drea de Mateo and, uh, the things that, uh, that happened in her life to, uh, to bring that situation about. And I guess recently she was on Barstool Sports on one of their podcasts, um, talking with, uh, one of their, one of their hosts there and, um, uh, talking about all the different characters that she played and, uh, whether it was obviously Adriana or Wendy in Sons of Anarchy or Joey's sister, Gina in the Joey series had short lived as that was, and many other things, because I think she was also in um, Law and Order, one of those shows. So she was, she's been on a lot of different things. But um, I guess she also talked about where, whether or not Tony and Adriana would have hooked up if they hadn't gotten in the car accident in Sopranos. But um, you can go check that out at Barstool Sports. I believe that's still up over there. Anyway, I'm just curious. Let me know your thoughts on what measures she took. Uh, to uh, to stave off some some very bad things in her life. Let me know if you think that uh, agents and uh, managers and things like that that are in a star's life should be responsible to some degree for at least getting some financial education to the people that they manage because I think that's incredibly important. Look at um, even professional athletes these days when they come in, the rookies come in, they get some a financial advice, financial planning advice. They even get linked up at times with financial planners to help them keep their money for a long time uh, because you've he you hear the horror stories all the time about money that just disappears. So let me know if you think um, that that's something that would help. Uh, what else? Oh, and, uh, you know, uh, let me know if uh, you want me to cover more stories like this. This is not my usual fare and probably going to take a hit in the algorithm. So please hit the like button on the way out the door. 
and leave a comment below because it really does help. Um, also, if you're not subscribed, if this is your first time or your thousandth time being here, do hit that red subscribe button and turn it to gray. And if it's already gray, well, thank you. I appreciate it. We're almost to 25K, and that would be amazing if I did that before I arrived in Vegas for the meetup. That would be very cool. On that note, be sure to take care of yourself, take care of others. And until next time, see ya.